Black versus Eight, Merple in cage seven, two. Six, five, this is going to be an four, interesting fight. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. We've seen really good driving from Lars today from Jetlag. This is a brand new build from Lars. He's going to be tested with Purple though. Excellent driving on Purple as always. Really fantastic driving from Brycian, Cascus, and Purple. Oh, but Lars has successfully kind of gotten Purple over onto his side. Really has taking advantage oh of that hockey puck shape of Purple to keep wow. them rolling and moving around the box. Now, and if Lars can just stay on top of Merple um, as it's on its side, it's going to continue to rack up those control points. Yeah, as well as the damage points. This is really impressive. I don't know if you can really damage Merple, though. I mean, maybe you can tear off its arm, but that is very difficult to do. Very difficult. It's a super well-built bot. Yeah. When you take a look at all of those, uh, those nuts and bolts, you know, that keep that arm on, you know, we are basically probably going to see Merple uh, unscathed in this fight. But really, Jetlag is staying on top of Merple and not allowing uh, Bryce any room at all to breathe. Amazing. Loser's bracket round five. Wow. I feel like we are crowning Norwalk Havoc royalty here. Lars Elliott, just an absolutely dominant driver. Yeah, it's very impressive. I mean, to show up at Norwalk and have this dominant of a performance with your first ever Beetleweight is unheard of. Yeah. Wow. So we just heard from uh, Lindsay. Apparently when he showed up yesterday, he was already ready to go. I believe that Lars was the first robot to pass safety yesterday. I feel wow. like it opened at 5 and he was there at 5.01. Just ready. And he ended up staying around until 10 o'clock so we could see every single robot that came in early. Now, uh, Lars and his family were pitted uh, next to uh, the Yankaskis family. Oh, what and, a great uh, crew to be pitted next to. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. But you can see that dedication from the builder. Yeah. 50 seconds left here in this fight. Wow, I'm also here look. they're they're really nice people and they hand out candy to everyone. And it's not even Halloween anymore. You gotta love that. Alright, 30 seconds left in this fight. Lars has really just shown some incredible aggression and control here. Merple showing his resiliency as always with this onslaught, still all, all the way functional. Weapon still working, wheel still working, all good. Merple was one of my favorites to qualify for December. And Lars may be sending Bryce home to Indiana early. That's right. Ten seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the match, Lars. Turn off your weapon. Two tough little bots. I gotta say, that was amazing. I'm not going to try to influence anybody, but I will say, go Merple win. Nice. <laughs> All right. This is loser's bracket, and uh, we're going to be sending home one of these drivers. Which driver will it be? Diana, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'm going to have to give this one to Jetlag. They just... They never let up on Merple, and Merple was never really able to get a good lift on jet lag. So it was a well-driven match, but I'm going to have to go to jet lag. All right. We've got one vote for jet lag. How about you, Don? Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to go jet lag. He did all everything he was supposed to do. Just stayed on him, didn't let him breathe, and stayed on the gas. All right. We've got two votes for jet lag. Uh, Jack, will this be a unanimous judge's decision? Yeah, it will. All right, we've got 